suppose vlogging isn't for everyone, but you know, at least I put myself out there, and a lot of people, they seem to be afraid to do that. They seem to be afraid to actually put their face on the internet where anybody could see it. Like, it really matters, you know? The people that admire you, they will admire and appreciate you for what you are. Fuck everyone else. There's always going to be people that don't like you. And they're going to call you whatever they call you. They're going to call you names. They're going to call you strange or weird or nerdy. They're going to call you stupid. People can call you whatever they want. It doesn't really mean anything. However you feel about yourself, that's important. And to admit and not being good at one thing, it's not necessarily a flaw. You can always improve in practice. I actually feel a lot better talking to the camera today. And no offense to who's watching, because, I mean, literally, I'm talking to a camera right now. How weird is that? <laughs> like, the vlogging process seems a very introverted thing. Though it seems introverted in the process, you are actually, you're talking to a lot of people. Our channel just hit 3,500 wonderful subscribers that all comment and interact, and it's a very social thing. So how can it be introverted if it's so social? It is a social network. Trannies are introverted, huh? I wouldn't say introverted. Perhaps self-absorbed, conceited. Perhaps, uh, in my experience, I've always been ridiculed all my life and told that what I do is wrong and told that I'm an outcast, a weirdo, a freak for doing what I like to do. And I look at these people and I say, who are you to judge if it makes me happy? that's what I'm doing. It doesn't harm anybody. I'm not harming anybody by my, you know, makeup. I'm not harming anybody by wearing the clothes that I wear. So, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> it's the same Nazi judgment that's been going on for decades. It's time to grow up. It's time to get in the modern age, you know? Look at people for who they are. And in being ridiculed and told this all your life, I suppose you do build some natural defenses that may make you seem arrogant or introverted. But it's just that there aren't many people that relate to you. I use the general you. I'm really talking about myself. There's not many people that I relate to at all. And I'm glad that we're doing this, that Five Awesome Trains exist, because it brings more of us together, more people that have, you know, similar interests. And there will never be anyone completely like you, ever. And I'm glad for that, because that would be absolutely boring to have so many people that are just like you, there'd be nothing to talk about. Our conversations would be spent. Our experiences would be bland. Our differences, they make us more interesting. And no, I don't feel like looking at the camera all the time. I feel like I have some robot watching me. Poke. Poofy, poofy. Like my mirror? <laughs> I always use it too. I have a bunch of unbroken mirrors, but I like broken mirrors for some reason. They offer more possibilities. Hmm. So I'm not too sure if I made a point or not. Or if I'm just rambling on. But I enjoyed recording this. 
It's so dreary outside today. So dreary. You know, I like rainy weather. I like gloomy weather. I adore fog. But this iridescent light, though great for recording, it always puts me in a mood. It's funny how the weather can alter moods.